What's up guys, today we're gonna to talk about the lunge. So we're gonna be in this kind of static lunge position just for teaching purposes, but really any type of lunge you're doing should follow the same rules. So one way to find the correct position is from the ground, we're gonna go hip over this knee, heel to the ceiling, and then knee over the ankle. Shoulder blades are together, and we're going straight up. Right here, all right? If at any point this knee is over the ankle, I'll tell my clients, pull their knee back. So if I see this, say, pull your knee back, boom, it's right here. Almost like you're jamming the knee into the hip. So it's not shifting your weight back. It's just here. That's going to turn that hamstring on. All right. So we're here. All right. Another way to say you're doing a reverse lunge or another way to just find your position is step back far enough to where this knee is, is behind the ankle. And then we're right here should be in the right position. So if you feel this back leg working too much and it's just like lit up, then at the bottom, give it a little wiggle. It should be nice and loose, all right? And that should tell you you're loaded here properly. If it's real tight, a lot of times that heel looks more like this and not this. So that needs to drop straight down. So if you're feeling too much there, check the heel position, all right? And we're right here. Give it a few wiggles, just like that. All right. Sometimes I'll start my client, most of the time, I'll start my client off with the TRX so they have a real good idea. Like they almost don't need this leg at all. Like, so they can really focus on loading this front leg the proper way. And we'll progress from here. So it just makes it easy to take the tension out of this back leg. All right, and then you can also progress before you go body weight. You can also like hold a weight here just to load and get a little bit stronger in that position. All right, so y'all give that a try. Let me know if you have any questions.